Alright people, what's good? It's your boy Gunner and I'm here with a new tutorial today for you guys with an advanced version of the RPG Maker VX tutorial. And basically I'm not doing this live, this is not live commentary like I usually do it. Um when I was making this vid my mic was on mute and I didn't notice until the video was over, so maybe I should have did a mic check before you know I got started. And you know, I'm kinda upset from that. But basically what we're gonna be learning in this video is uh, making real-time enemies and cooking and buying the food to cook and basically what I mean by real-time enemies is you know like how on Pokemon you walk in the cave and something just pops up on you that's annoying we don't want to have that in the game we want if we can make real-time enemies we're gonna do that's that's what that's that's the best way to go so that's basically what I'm gonna be showing you how to do on this one so um yeah let me check that Skype message real quick that's what that's what just happened all right um all right so what are we going to start with? I don't really remember. We're starting with real-time enemies for sure. Yeah, we have to have a take another look at that. You know, memory problems. Oh yeah, and this is I was explaining here is um this is this this game project is the the project I use to help people. They send me a message on YouTube, and I go and test what they want me to do, like what they want to learn how to do. I go and test it myself, and then I basically tell you how to do it. And that's basically from a guy. He asked me, um, how did you, how do you make like make the screen fade and have a ghost pop up behind you? So basically, that's how that was what I was just doing before I started doing this. Um, all right. So what we're doing here is we're looking for an open area so we can test out the real enemies. And wait, is that another? All right, that's on the. All right, <laughs> all right, that happened on the video. I'm thinking my Skype then blow up again, then blow it up again. All right. So what we're doing here is we're we're creating a new event. Create the event, damn it. Alright, we're creating a new event. We're gonna make him a dragon. Scroll down, click dragon. The hell are you doing? Alright, there's our dragon. Boom. We're gonna go over to the uh, I, I still don't know how to pronounce that word. We're gonna, we're gonna set it to custom, and then we're gonna go to move route, and we're gonna make it move towards player. And we're gonna keep that action on repeat. We're not gonna click skip. If cannot move, we're not gonna we're not gonna click that. Um, yeah, we're not. All right, we get it, we get it. We're not gonna click that. That's what it does. All right, click OK. And um, we're gonna set it to above characters because you know same as characters likes the glitch sometimes. Like the they will touch you, the event will touch you, but the battle processing will not pop up. So we're gonna, we're gonna go with above characters because they you know it just looks better anyways. And then we're gonna go with player touch. This makes when the event touches you, um the event automatically starts after it touches you so we're not gonna we're not gonna check stepping animation that's for something completely different than what we're doing right here so then we're gonna go in here we're gonna add um, a battle processing hurry up and do it hurry up I noticed like basically this is this wasn't my main game project so we didn't have actually have a dragon as an enemy yet on here is basically the basic um start versions of these enemies so sooner or later we just decided to go with demon after looking for dragons for so long and uh... still looking there alright pick demon you make it so where you can't escape because you know this is this is not a boss this is um... a normal enemy that you fight when you're out roaming looking for the boss to kill alright so basically if you win you wanna you wanna in the if you win part you wanna put um erase event. Basically that means the dragon is gone, you killed it, it'll it'll come back when you return to that area. So that's all you wanna add to that. If you escape, you don't wanna add nothing else. You wanna add event if you escape if you want your the, the difficulty of your game to be slightly easier. You'll erase the event. But if you want it to be slightly difficult, you'll make sure the dragon stays there. So they have to run away it's like as soon as the, as soon as the battle ends, they have to run away. Um, we're gonna make the speed two times faster. Four times, it's extremely difficult. You're not gonna get away from four times. Two times you can sprint and get away, but you're not getting away from four times. You wanna make the frequency five highest. That means like he doesn't stop. He doesn't take a step, stop. And normal, he takes a step and then he stops. Takes more steps. Highest, he just keeps moving without taking like normal steps. Alright, so now we're gonna go ahead and test that out. Oh, 
see the dragon's chasing us, we're getting OP hitting him. Oh, he got us anyways. And as you can see, that, that demon basically destroyed me. Yeah, that, that demon basically just destroyed me right there. Um, basically, because we're, we're level 1. I mean, we're not supposed to be fighting demons yet. I mean, mm. Alright, but that's basically right there, real-time enemies. You, um, basically, uh, you can copy and paste that event and change the sprite if you want to. Change their sprite and change when it, uh, enemy pops up on, like, on the sprite when, when it touches you. Uh, that's, that's basically what I did for my game. Um, I had a whole bunch of real-time enemies. I don't want to be roaming. I don't want it being like Pokemon and a freaking enemy pops up every five steps. I was playing Pokemon one day and I didn't even take a step and an enemy popped up on me. So, like we, we don't want that. We we want to be able to escape these guys. We want to we want to give our the, the um the person that's playing our game a chance to escape or a chance to avoid. Like maybe he's too strong to fight these grass type Pokemon or something like that. You know we don't we don't want to have to actually make them fight these enemies. Uh, so what we're, we're what we're doing now is um, we're gonna we're gonna go through buying and cooking the food that you buy. Um, basically, this is this right here. I'm going. Um, I keep forgetting that it's uh it's not my game project, so I gotta add some items in a few. But what we're doing is we're adding some text. I put what would you like to do? You should put what would you like to cook? That makes a lot more sense. I'm gonna show the choices. We're gonna put pizza choice one chicken choice two and nothing choice three you can have more than three you can have more than two foods in, if, in there if you want to but you know this is just a tutorial so we're gonna, we're gonna do it the basic way basically <laughs> hurry up hurry up I'm actually kind of hungry alright so here what we're doing here is a conditional branch well, we're not going to do it yet because we realize we have to import these items into the game. Uh, what are you doing? Alright, go to items. Change the maximum to 20, not 18. Change it to 20. Um, basically 20 because 17, well, one of the, we need four items. Two of the items are going to be the uncooked version of the food. <laughs> the other two, the other two are going to be the cooked versions of the food. Just want to let him do that real quick. I don't know, this video looks like it's jumpy on Sony Vegas. I don't know if it's jumpy for you guys on YouTube, but if it is, I'm sorry about that. Um, a lot of bad things going on in this video today. Like, maybe recording a 17 minute long video without knowing your mic is muted. Alright, so now we're back on to it. This right here, we're going to make the pizza, you know, you eat it, you, gonna, you get health. Um, Basically, percentage is how much how much uh, the percent of the pizza increases your uh, um, health. 100% all the way. You do that with items like full potion. Um, yeah, full potion. That's basically what you do it for. Occasion. That's basically um, if you you're able to use it in the in a battle, or you're able to use it um, not in a battle. I'm gonna go with always because you know it's pizza. Who doesn't always want to eat pizza? And what you see under it is with the plus sign, that's the exact value. Meaning, if you put 520 in the exact value, it will increase, increase your health by 520. Not, uh, not a percentage. I like to use percentage basically because it's better. It doesn't, you know, some, sometimes, alright, if you use percentage, when your character gets to a thousand health, you're not going to want to use, well not a thousand, when your character gets to like 10,000 health, you're not going to want to use 500 uh, a pizza that require uh, that refills your health by 500. I mean that's weak. So you you go with percentage wise. So you, it's, it's always based around your stats. Basically, that's what percentage does for you. When you go to the uncooked pizza, I mean you want to get creative with it. You can make it so where it decreases your health because it's uncooked pizza or it's uncooked chicken. It decreases your health. But for me, I'm just gonna go with consume. No, Ella makes it. That basically means you cannot eat this uncooked pizza or this uncooked chicken. Now we're going to go back into our event. We're going to go to conditional branch. Conditional branch. Blah, blah. All right. And th this basically means in order to do this, you need to have this. That's what a conditional branch is. So in order for us to cook pizza, we have to have uncooked pizza. 
I hear myself, but I'm muted. I can, uh, all right, you know what? Just, just, just hurry up and do it, man. I'm getting more upset. You guys probably hear me too if your speakers just turn up. You got headphones in. All right, so there we go. We got conditional branch uncooked pizza. Else, basically, else is if you don't. What just happened? I hope I hope I didn't stop recording. Else is basically if you don't have any pizza or you don't have what you need to do this. So just put the text in there. You don't have any pizza. You want to change the items. You want to decrease the uncooked pizza. So it means it's no longer in your inventory. You want to increase the pizza, meaning you just change. You basically uh, another way of converting the uncooked pizza into pizza. So you gain one pizza, you lose one uncooked pizza. All right. And you do the you, you do the same exact same thing for chicken. I thought I see I got confused right here. Um do not do what I'm doing. Keep keep it at uncooked pizza. I got confused right here. Um I haven't did this in a long time. Sorry about that. See that was actually my Skype because I, I didn't turn it two, it's still one. No, I know that was my real Skype now. Nah. don't have any chick really all right and when there's nothing it's nothing it just closes down the menu and you can click it again so that's your stove that is your cooking device right there make sure the priority is same as characters and it's action button let's keep making that noise Right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a shop and in this shop we're gonna put a keeper in there which sells you these uncooked goods so where you can buy them and then go cook them at your house I mean I, I prefer like you know just just to add some add some depth into your game you know don't don't have it to where the shopkeeper sells you these these already cooked foods I mean make it so where you have to go home and cook it that's kinda that's kinda bad when you're on the adventure and there's no stove or you can put a bonfire a bonfire in your game and make it and do the exact same thing with the that you put the exact same event that you put on the stove and put it on the bonfire alright ABG. Alright, right here, um, it's a whole lot of fail about to happen. A whole bunch of fails about to happen. Basically, me forgetting to put the transfer on the door, on the house, put the transfer in the house. Yeah, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and end the commentary here. Um, it works. You can watch the video. You can, I'll probably put like a skip timer so you can see that it actually works. But if you did it the exact same way I did, it works and that's how you cook and buy food so hit that like button hit that subscribe button and i'll see you in part two